everybody! Welcome to the video. Today we're talking about showers, in particular portable showers. So if you love to camp, if you live in a van, or if you camp in a van, or maybe you live in a place that does not have a shower, or if you're just one of my music listeners and want to watch this great video, there's some wonderful ideas in here. There are actually several ways to take a shower in the middle of nowhere or in the middle of a city or in your vehicle. Some of them are very simple and cost nothing. Some cost $5, some cost $10, all the way up to about $100, depending on the type of gear that you would like to buy or have. What I've done in this video is kind of started at the lowest and built equipment on top of each level so that you can expand every time you want to improve your shower situation. <laughs> So one piece of advice I will give you for any of these techniques, before you do them, make sure you are in a good mood, that you are well rested and well fed. Because they can be frustrating. If you're really tired, it's, it's hard to do them. They take a lot of assembly. Um, the most advanced of these showers will take you about an hour in terms of setup and, and breakdown and stuff like that. So um, whatever the best time of the day for you is, whatever day you're most comfortable, but you want to have some good energy behind you to, to do this. There are a few things you want to think about when you're taking a shower in public, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first one is where is your water going to come from? Where is your water going to go? Drainage and things like that. Um, privacy and also um, portability and budget. So throughout this video, I'm going to mention the general price range of things for you. Basically, the prices will be included at the end of this video. And also, if you're watching on YouTube, it will be down below in the comments. The first technique is really hardcore. Basically, it is a water jug. Uh, you, if you have an empty one or if you have a bucket or if you buy it at the store, it's probably a dollar. Um, you, if you're in a situation like this and you can just go into the woods and uh, if you have a bathing suit on or not and um, if you usually um, in my showers uh, I have long hair so my showers usually take about three of these gallons and you would carefully use it you know you wouldn't just suddenly dunk it all over the place but that is the most uh, efficient and uh, simplest way something I wanted to mention um, before we go any further about the jugs of water uh, it would be very nice to have a siphon of some kind uh, to siphon it from a faucet. This is called a rinseroo. <laughs> it actually is specially designed for this rubber thing to go on a faucet and um, into your jug. Um, it does depend on the faucet. If this, if the faucet is down low, you know, because it's a siphon, it doesn't really work that well. But you can uh, twist off the rubber part and uh, just I use it just under the faucet if it's a low faucet. Or if it's a tall faucet, you can use this. This also goes on another shower head, but if you had a shower head, you would just take the shower. So that's kind of a moot point. But um, it is helpful. And you don't have to have a rinse roux. You could have any siphon at an auto parts store or any tubing whatsoever. It is helpful uh, to fill up your jugs. The second uh, very hardcore way is simply to take what they call a sponge bath. And you can do that in a bucket or um, a bowl or anything that you have. Um, I have found this is a portable foldable bucket and it opens, it is like an accordion and it opens out. I'll try to open it for you. And um, this I'm fairly certain was under $20. It's a, a foldable thing. It's really great and you could um, use that as a, um, what you call, sponge bath. Another way that I've actually never done myself, but I do own this apparatus and that is a garden sprayer bottle. Uh, you just pump it up and um, spray yourself with it. Um, I guess if you want the pressure, you know, even pressure to get the soap out of your hair, this would probably be best for your hair or something like that. Um, it's very portable. Um, I'm going to say under $20 again also. Um, yeah, so there's the sprayer bottle. <laughs> Now, if you're ready to take a step up in luxury of portable showers, um, a very basic and very important piece of equipment would be this dog bath. It's a doggy pool. <laughs> I think it's about 38 inches wide. It, it's an accordion. It stores really well. It opens up into a pool 
and there's a drain on the side which I've actually never used but you could um, drain it out that way. Uh, this pool can not only act as a bathtub but you can also um, put your head over it and wash that way with your jugs, wash yourself or sit in it and, and bathe that way. Um, it will fit um, in, in a, I think it would fit in a regular van or uh, again you could um, use it outside. If you're going to use it in your van, I strongly suggest you put a tarp down. This tarp is, um, I don't know, eight by something. Uh, this is, a, you know, this is five or ten dollar tarp. Uh, I would suggest you um, remove anything that is going to be ruined by water and uh, put the tarp all around because you will splash. It will splash off of you. This doggy pool, you know, I uh, again, uh, the prices will be down below, but I'm thinking it's between $25 and $40, $30, somewhere in there. Um, I'm sure there's all different brands and all different types. This, I believe, is the smallest size, and um, but maybe you could find smaller. But this was the size that I knew that I could sit in and would also uh, be buildable into other steps of our shower hierarchy. Something else, if you decide to use the doggy pool in your van, you might want to get um, some shower curtains. Uh, these shower curtains, I'm pretty sure, are $3 uh, each, and uh, this is very inexpensive, and you can somehow hook, make a circle up in your van, and then put the ends of your shower curtain into the doggy pool, and that will keep the water from splashing all over the place. You can do that. Um, and I, I found it very effective. I think I have uh, three or four of them to make, you know, because you're going to have like quadrants or whatever with the thing. Again, very inexpensive and um, useful. You can use this for other things too. If you don't have a doggy pool <laughs> or don't want to buy one or can't buy one, you can use any kind of a box, a plastic crate or box, anything that is... Um, like a tub type thing and you can put your a tarp in there put a tarp in there uh, so that it doesn't seep out obviously and then when you're done you gather all the ends of the tarp and hold it and then you can go dispose of it a quick note about that doggy bathtub don't use more than three gallons on yourself because well you could I suppose when I use three gallons, more than three gallons, it becomes very difficult to lift the pool up because remember, you're going to have to dump the water. And I'll talk about that a little more about dumping water and what to do with your water. But when your hand, the doggy pool is going to be wet. There's water in there, probably soapy. Your hands are going to be wet. You pick up the doggy pool, you fold in all the edges and then try to hold it. It's slippery. Um, I recommend that you put something underneath it, a board or that folding bucket uh, underneath there and hold it from the bottom and the top. If one of your accordion pieces opens, the water's going to come out. <laughs> and that has happened to me. And it's very frustrating and aggravating. So um, maybe you can think of a system, maybe lifting it up and tying it with rope or something, some other kind of system. But when you're handling this pool, it is slippery and um, heavy and the water's all over the place so just uh, beware of that you might want to try your first bath with maybe just one gallon and, and learn the ropes or just test it out on the lawn or something like that to see to see what's happening now if you are planning on taking the ultimate step in your portable shower the next step would be this shower tent, which is, uh, I have a lot to say about this shower tent. Um, basically, it is a long, tall tent. I think it's about 72 inches tall. It has exterior poles that you put together with the elastic that runs through it. Those are really cool because they're easy to take apart and they stay together. Um, this, uh, I think this was about $45. I got this originally because I thought um, I, I would be using it a lot. Um, I ended up, I think you could uh, use the shower curtains just as well with the tarp just as well. Uh, this of course is for privacy and also splashing. One thing about this tent is that if you know anything about these shower tents, the bottom is has mesh around the outside. So if you 
are using it here, it's fine. The water goes out to the ground. But if you're using this inside or in your van, you got to figure something out to where the water's going to go. And uh, that is where your doggy pool comes in beautifully. Uh, I think I, I, I'll put the measurements down below. I thought the doggy pool was 38 inches, and I think this is also 38 inches. I did order it to match, so it does match. Um, this also allows you to hang um, to hang a pouch of water, a, a water um, bag, solar shower, which I'll show you in a minute. And um, when I was using this, you have to use those plastic shower curtains all around you inside and put the shower curtains into the doggy pool again, just like you would, like I had said before, in your van, or else the water goes out the mesh onto your rug or van or wherever you're taking your shower. Um, this, I think this is Ozark Trail, which is very inexpensive. If you're going to use this, expect to, um, it's going to take, it takes a while. <laughs> I would say if you use a shower with this, it's probably going to take about an hour for you to take a shower. One thing that I purchased that I probably didn't need to purchase, but you might find it handy, is uh, this little special pump. It's a, I think it was about $30, and this part goes in a bucket. And this part stays outside of the bucket with the tubes and everything. And you turn it on and it pumps it through another tube to your shower. And you could say, oh wow, that's great. Uh, yeah. One limiter about this is that whatever you put this in, that's the amount of water you're going to get. So let's say you put it in a bucket. You're just going to get one bucket of water. So maybe you could figure out a way to put it in one of these big... Um, you know, uh, water tanks or, or a, a very large body of water because otherwise you're just going to get a bucket of water and I'll tell you it comes out pretty fast. So it's, it is good in terms of a shower but it, it, is, it does consume uh, much more water than the other techniques but if you, you can set it up however you want. And I'm sure there's plenty of other types of little pumps like this. I just thought this was uh, the most uh, portable and also affordable. One more thing about that um, portable pump, which I forgot to mention. Uh, it is battery, but it's also rechargeable. So you do need, I think you need to have a way to recharge it if you have one of those uh, portable batteries that you can recharge or you can recharge it at a, a campgrounds or something like that. You do need to have a source of electricity for that or at least some batteries for that. So this next piece of equipment is something I probably could have shown you in the beginning of the video, but it applies more to that shower tent than other others, and that is this um, solar shower bag. Um, I Honestly, they are under $20, I'm sure, and um, it has the uh, thingy, and you can hang it. You fill it with water, and you put the black side down, I believe, and uh, the sunlight... Maybe it's black side up. Oh, Got to read the instructions. Um, and <laughs> this and the sun will make the water hot. Uh, it gets really hot, folks. So, you know, be careful. It gets super hot. And um, so this you can hang in the tent shower, shower tent. However, uh, you will have to probably be on your knees to use it because of the length of this bag in the shower tent and the length of this hose in the shower tent and in order it's gravity fed of course so um, in order to get that gravity and pressure you probably have to either be sitting in your doggy pool or um, kneeling in your doggy pool in order to get the water to come out of it but you could also just use this completely on its own and hang it in a tree and you have your bathing suit on and uh, go out and just take a shower or don't have your bathing suit on which I don't recommend but that's up to you and uh, so yeah, this is a Coleman. I'm sure they have other brands. Uh, this is widely available. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool.
So this is the shower tent that I've adjusted to a lower height, and you could probably go even lower if you wanted. Uh, it would fit in a van, um, if you had a high top van, maybe. And you'll see that poles, they're all connected by one long piece of metal or elastic type thing. And uh, so they don't come apart, they're, they're, but they you can pull them separately apart, it's hard to explain. And um, you can lower all the four sides of them. And as you can see, this just, uh, it just moves around. I don't know if you can see the, the steel thing that's in there, uh, that, that they're all connected. And that's actually great because when you're setting it up, it's all in one folded up um, pole apparatus. So this actually does fit in my van. And I will show you a picture of my van right now. It is a 2008 Ford um, 350. And it has, it was a wheelchair van and it has, you can stand up completely inside. So that, um, you can see how that short little tent uh, can fit right in there. One thing I would like to point out is personal safety. And if you do not feel comfortable taking a shower or bathing, somewhere don't do it just wait no one's really gonna mind if you are a little dirty so um make sure you're either safely in your vehicle or safely at a campsite or somewhere where you feel comfortable so these are the poles dismantled if you're not familiar with these kinds of poles they are all connected you pick them up in one long thing and they kind of snap together they snap right together Okay, here's a picture of the steel, steel cables inside. As a side note, I will say that putting it up by yourself is a tiny bit tricky, not obviously not undoable. This is why I'm saying you should be well rested and in a good mood when you try it because there's a little bit of a balancing act to get all four of them up at once. But really, I, I've been doing it all along and it's perfectly fine. So what I finally like to talk about is how you're going to get rid of your water. <laughs> you have all this soapy, dirty water. Where are you going to put it? Well, if you're in a setting like this, of course, uh, carefully putting it to the side where you're not interfering with animals or any people or anything like that uh, is the easiest thing to do. Um, if you are near any kind of drain or sewer system in a city, maybe there's a, a drain in the street I don't know. I don't camp in the city. I know there's some people that do. Um, that might be an idea. Um, the other thing is to uh, have one of these around. It's uh, a water jug and it is six gallons. Um, you can have a funnel and pour your water in there. I actually have a foldable funnel just like the bucket and uh, it's uh, you can fold your funnel up or whatever and funnel your water into there. I suggest keeping this particular jug just for bathing. I would not use it for drinking or any other kind of food preparation. That'll be yours. Just, and also uh, dishwashing too. You could put your dishwashing soap in here also. Your dishwashing water. <laughs> the price of this jug, I've seen it as low as $13. I've also seen it as high as $25. It is plastic. You probably can get it at any hardware store, any big box store, the stores that you like to visit. Um, or any closed container, I can see using a uh, maybe a joint compound bucket with a lid on it just to hold it and seal the lid down tight just to hold the water until you can get somewhere to uh, dump it safely and courteously. Thank you so much everybody. Those are the ideas for the showers for today. If you have any comments or questions or additions or ideas, I would love to hear them. You can comment below. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, please like and share and enjoy your showers. <laughs>